I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Today, because fall is in the air, and today it's in the air real heavily, I thought we'd make a pumpkin soup. Now I've got all the details coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I post new videos right here every weekend just for you. Pumpkin soup. Everywhere you look, there are pumpkins out for Halloween, trick-or-treating, and when you're done making your jack-o'-lanterns, it's time for pumpkin soup. But not a lot of people know that to take a pumpkin, roast it down, and get the right flavor, you need a sweet pumpkin, not a normal pumpkin. And it's a lot of work and you've already thrown out the seeds and stuff. So let's make it easy. Let's do it the uh, non-traditional way. For this pumpkin soup, we're going to need three cups of pumpkin puree, one onion chopped, two cloves of garlic, teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of fresh nutmeg, one eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, four cups of vegetable broth, half a cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a quarter cup of toasted pumpkin seed. So let's get our veggies ready. We'll, we'll start with the uh, garlic and we just want to basically chop up the garlic. We're going to saute this in the uh, soup pot itself. Our immersion blender will take most of it. And for our onion, again, we just want to chop it up, half it and then slice it up. There's our aromatics ready to go. We don't want a lot of um, a lot of additional flavors in here. We're looking for that pumpkin pie flavor. So I've got my heavy cream, my pumpkin seeds, my pureed pumpkin, maple syrup. I've got my cinnamon, oh, and I've got my cloves. And of course, um, I don't have nutmeg. I don't have spices of nutmeg. I actually ground my own. And for a dollar and a half, you can get a nutmeg grinder and away you go. First thing we have to do is get our aromatics going. And to do that, we'll turn up our pot to a, a medium high. And because it's a pumpkin, I, I don't want to add olive oil to this. I just want to use a, um, uh, just want to use a generic oil. So I'll put in about a tablespoon and a quarter of rapeseed oil. Let that come up to temperature as well. And we need to open up the pumpkin puree as well. And this is not pumpkin filling, it's just a, a pumpkin puree. All right, my pot is coming up to temperature. The oil is starting to, starting to move around a little better, but I don't see it, I don't see it talking to me. I don't see it shimmering yet. Get a frying pan. Heat that up to a medium high as well because I want to uh, toast the pumpkin seeds. If you see a tail going by, that's just Dash doing his thing. Now I've got smoke just starting to happen. We're going to add our aromatics, so our onions and our garlic to the pot. Give it a quick stir so everything gets coated in the oil. Knock the heat down a little bit and season. You always want to season with pepper and salt, but you don't want to do a lot. Baby steps. In the end, when you have to taste it, it won't be over salty. And we just want this to saute down so that the onions and the garlic are cooked. We don't want them caramelized or anything like that. We just want them nicely, nicely cooked for this pumpkin soup. And that should only take a couple of seconds. While that's happening, I'm going to take my uh, unroasted, unsalted pumpkin seeds, put them right in the pan, flatten them out so that they start to absorb some of the heat. So this is important. Don't add your pumpkin puree right away because it will burn. So we want to make sure we add our vegetable sup. We're going to add about four cups, which is about a liter, Canadian-wise. Four cups for our friends in the U.S. And this helps cool it down so that when you add your puree, you're not, you're not burning it. There we go. So a nice low-sodium vegetable broth that you can buy in the store. Don't forget to keep your seeds moving and flipping around. All right. Now I want to add my spices. They'll actually uh, spread out a lot better in the liquid with a pumpkin to uh, bunch up on. So I've added my cinnamon, my clove, I'm going to add my maple syrup, 
And I'm not going to use my kosher salt, I'm actually going to use real sea salt. I've got to add some nutmeg. This is the fun part, just grinding the nutmeg. Oh, does that ever smell good? Fresh nutmeg, nutmeg seed. And then we'll start to add our pumpkin puree. Like I said, three cups, about 750 milliliters, right out of the can. And already it smells like Thanksgiving. I'll start to mix it up. And you'll see it'll break down and get thicker. And what I want to do now is bring this up to temperature. Uh, I don't want it a hard boil, but I do want it to, uh, I do want a hard simmer, so to speak. And I won't add the cream until near the end. All right, this is five or six minutes. Our pumpkin seeds are nicely toasted. You can tell they turn brown. Still a little bit of green on them, and every now and then they'll snap, like snap, crackle, pop. Take the pumpkin seeds out of the pan and set them aside for garnish. Perfectly roasted pumpkin seeds. So now with your immersion blender, you want to blend up all your pumpkin soup. And you don't want to start your blender now. Put it in, because you'll be in a mess. Put your blender in, turn it on, and tilt it up a little. You're going to want to do this probably for about a minute or so until you don't see any big pieces of garlic or big pieces of onion. So after you have your soup pureed, you want to add your cream. And that just lightens it up and makes it more, uh, smell more pumpkin-y, but it also uh, adds some fat to the soup, which makes it very, very hearty. All right, let's plate up some pumpkin soup. We'll grab a ladle full. So as you can see, nice and smooth. Mm, smells great. Let's uh, dollop of cream right in the middle. I'm actually gonna take the skewer and uh, just move the cream about a little bit. Looks pretty. And then we'll garnish it with uh, some of the pumpkin seeds. Put these on very gently, very lightly, and hopefully they'll sit on the top. And there is pumpkin soup or pumpkin pie in a bowl, whichever way you would like it, made just for you. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.